Hey everybody, how are you? I do hope you've been better than me because for the last week, like the last seven days, I've been pretty much dead. Obviously not completely dead, but I might as well have been dead for how productive I was able to be. I have had like the worst flu I have had in years. And so if I sound like I'm still a bit sick, <clears throat> because I am still recovering from that. And I guess the reason I got the flu awesomely was because we just had the Wave God at Traffin Festival. Being the world's biggest and most incredible goth festival, oh, it's like some kind of amazing dream. It's just like four or five days of pure partying. We being super enthusiastic people started a day early, so we had like five or six days of solid partying and drinking and barely sleeping, meeting a lot of new people and exchanging a lot of hugs. So somewhere along the line I've picked up the plague. Anyway, I love whinging. If you've been watching my channel for a long time and you know me, you'll know that one of my favourite activities at festivals is drunk shopping. <laughs> I don't know, there's something so fun and satisfying about drinking and then going shopping because like you don't really care so much about what you buy, you're just like, ooh, that's nice, and without really thinking about whether you can afford it or not, or should I, shouldn't I, you just buy it anyway. But even better, if you can't remember buying it, you get the surprise again the next day, you're like, oh wow, this is nice, thanks me. I did get a chance to get in some shopping, and so I'll show you the stuff that I got. I don't, I wasn't really drunk for it, unfortunately, but I do think I got some nice things. Some of the things I've got to show you are also gifts. I was given quite a few things as gifts because I'm fucking lucky and people like me for some reason. I'm gonna start with the two most sort of simple things. At the festival, one of my favorite bands, She Passed Away, played, so I got a She Passed Away t shirt. Caught in the cause. Got a bit of camp fur stuck to it, that's okay, I've already worn it, so please do go have a listen to She Passed Away if you want to hear some really awesome music. Oh, they were so good, they were so good. Another band t shirt I picked up being one from Sober Eternus. I love Sober Eternus, I love it on a spiritual level. I love it in a way that I can't quite explain, and I think that anybody else who is a fan of Sober Eternus will understand what I mean. <laughs> and speaking of music, while I was at the Sex Gang Children show, another awesome band, I met Barry Barry from Mephisto. Mr. Waltz. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, so he gave me this, uh, which is a download code to his new album. And if you're not familiar with Mephisto Waltz, then why aren't you? I really just started listening to this album and he was like, oh, you know, it's pretty weird. You might not, maybe you won't like it, but it sounds really good so far. So I'll link to this new album, Scoundrel, below from Mephisto Waltz. I don't know where to start. Ah, I've got this like big bag here full of things plus other things. Oh God. Okay, so I picked up a few of my favourite staple stuff. For example, I got some more of my favourite Parfume Noir. This is Vampire's Romance from Parfume Noir. It's patchouli and opium. Mm. Last year I was only able to get like a little bottle of Vampire's Romance and it's completely gone now. I used all of it. So yeah, I was really happy to get a big one. This perfume is lovely. There are a couple of online stores where you can find this and I will link below to one of them for you if you're interested in trying out some spooky perfume. This guy really knows what he's doing. He's And he's an awesome guy. He's so friendly, the chap who does the perfume noir. The other thing that I was, you know, a bit of a festival staple for me is I also took a visit to Flat Art. <laughs> Maybe you've seen previous videos that I've had a couple of these. This will be my third back cushion. They're just so cute. And they're not kitschy, you know, they're just cute. And they look really nice, like, on your bed or on your couch or something. It's just this nice, cute, spooky accent. And um, this one's bigger than the other two that I've got. So yeah, now I've got like a granddad cushion to go with the daddy cushion and the baby cushion. Also from Flats Art, this was actually a gift given to me by the people who stayed with me. I had five people staying with me and a couple of them gave me <laughs> this as a gift. This lovely big plush bat toy. Look at it. I've already fallen asleep cuddling it more than once. It's so soft. Now, onto all the, the beautiful, cool, interesting fashion items, of which there are a fair few. I picked up a couple of things from the brand Adlas. Some, I've never bought anything from them before. I've always known their stuff to be really good and quite fancy. And I've never found anything of theirs that I've just really loved enough to actually own. But I did pick up a couple of things. One being this skirt here. I p bought this without trying it on, because <laughs> I'm, I'm usually pretty good at guessing my size. It's got these really pretty trims and it's got this cross on it. Like I said, I didn't try it on, so when I got home and did try it on, I thought this is actually a little bit risque. But it is very nice and I'm always on the lookout for a nice maxi skirt. The other thing I picked up from Adelaide is so beautiful. It was the last one and I'd never seen anything like it. I'm like, it's gonna be too small. It's a size, it's at least a size too small, but it was the last one and it was so beautiful. And it is this top here. 
Can you see that? Can you, do you see what I mean? This is fucking exquisite. I hope I'm showing it to you properly. It's got these feathers around the neckline and it's got the same feathers around the cuffs and they're really soft but stiff feathers. And the front and back is like this V shape with boning in it and it's just, oh my god, it's like one of the most royal fucking beautiful period looking garments I've ever seen just on a rack. I thought this was so beautiful and so perfect for me. I just had to have it and I was like, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit. I'm like, I know in my heart of hearts that it's not gonna fit, but it does, it does fit. <laughs> Thank God. And I feel like if I, not if, when I lose a little bit of weight, it'll fit absolutely perfectly. The other thing I got this distinctly pouch. I've wanted this for quite a long time. I never really buy anything from the brand Sinister because I, I want to. Sinister stuff is really nice, it's beautiful, but it's so expensive. And I just simply can't justify spending the money on it. But I did really, really want a scarf from Sinister. Can we see this here? <laughs> Lovely, long, silky, sheer scarf with this tassely trim on it. I think I want to wear this scarf with all my outfits now, like just as a thing to sort of Rape. Oh, mm. Instant sophistication. And speaking of sophisticated, okay, I went to the Vide Noir stand. Oh, there we go, Vide Noir from Italy. And there's a lovely picture of my friend Valentine. Doesn't he look amazing? Yeah, so I went to her shop. She's one of my favorite sort of independent designers and fuck man. The stuff I've I've got to show you from her is absolutely stunning. Let's start with this little bag. Can we just can we just take a moment to look at this little little bag purse? I don't, wow, I just, I can't believe how beautiful this is. This is one of the prettiest things I own. Shit. I really feel like her stuff from Vide Noir is like the most like beautiful things I have. Like the stuff that is really, wow, the things that really stand out in my wardrobe the most. And she never really does anything the same twice. I, I'm, I'm not really sure, but like everything seems to be like a little bit unique. This bag is so fucking beautiful. It's it's just so fucking beautiful. I can't, I'm dying. I can't believe how beautiful it is. Oh God. So yeah, the next time I want to look better than everyone else in the room, I'm bringing that. She does not only do incredible accessories, she also does clothing a little bit and here. This corset is exquisite. It's so fucking pretty. Like really nice fine velvet and applique. I don't know if I can really show you the shape of it without trying it on, but it's got like a sort of vampire pointed bat wing shape across the bottom. Exquisitely beautiful. This I feel is gonna get quite a lot of use. This is like a neck piece. Yeah, it is kind of hard to show you these things without actually trying them on but I think you can kind of get the idea. How beautiful is this shit? How fucking different and creative and elegant. Have I made my point clear that I think this shit is lovely? You're gonna love this. This is epic. So I think one of the things that Vede Noir is known the most for is the collars. You know, the, I've got one, like one of those this great big lace collar and they're becoming quite popular. Like a lot of people are wearing them now. So <laughs> I've now got the one with feathers all around it. Ha! Oh, damn bitches. Damn. Can you see that? God, it's, it's kind of hard, isn't it? Like black on black. Fortunately, I've got plenty of festivals to go to and I think I think this is going to be a Maraluna item. I've noticed a lot of other brands trying to recreate the same thing or similar things. Still going, I'm still going, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Another thing she does, which I haven't really seen anybody else do, forgive me if I'm wrong, is she makes these belts, right? They kind of, you can put them over a corset. Look at that. So this one, matches the bag. It's got the similar kind of beading on it, and the same sort of pattern. So these are belts that go around your waist, and yeah, you can put them over a corset or like over an outfit or something. Here's the other one. Look at this, just like handmade, hand beaded fucking. Two more things from Vede Noir, four technically, but uh, these are both pairs of gloves. Imagine wearing all this stuff at the same time. You'd be so fancy. That's one pair of gloves. You will see me wearing these things a lot for sure. And that's the other pair here. It's like a simple, elegant accent. So yeah, just a few things from Vide Noir. <laughs> I'll link to her online shop below. She does have an online shop. Yay. Next thing I have to show you is this 
bag. This is a handmade bag from a company called iRevel. There were lots of them there, and I, you'll see it in my video eventually. But like this sort of, you know, vampire theme, vampire shape. Here we go. There we go. It's called iRevel. That stuff was like really super fancy. This is a bit more kind of casual. <laughs> casual? Well, for, for me, I'd call this casual. Of all the bags there, this one stood out to me the most. I, I love handmade stuff. We're getting there. We're nearly there. From a small business called, how do I pronounce this? Pazesque. Also from Italy. This is pretty flash. So. These are luxury false eyelashes. We all know that I love false eyelashes. That's one pair there. They look so nice, don't they? I can't wait to try them. And the other pair is in here. Is that not the loveliest packaging for eyelashes you have ever seen? And made with love, 100% cruelty free. Oh, gosh. 3D silk eyelashes in the style Paracool. Ah! I can't wait to try them out. Another thing I got because as we all know I desperately needed some more of these not I got another spiked collar. This one was actually pretty cheap I'm not I can't really remember where I bought it from unfortunately But I like it because it I haven't got one that's made of like shiny PVC and also I think most of the ones I have have got like giant spikes on them and this one's just got small spikes with like an O in the center. I also just wanted to show you this pen. This was given to me from the lovely lady who does Nox Aurum. You will see her shop when, I, when you see my vlog. It's a bone. It's pen this bone. Like she was selling them, but yeah, she just gave me one. I'm like, fucking thank you. It's awesome. Something else that was just fucking given to me, and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm like, so lucky. Damn. <laughs> you guys know Father Sebastian, the man who makes vampire fangs. The fangs that you see me wearing sometimes are made by him. I went over to his stand just to say hello, and I guess they were also selling this there, <laughs> and the people who were selling this just fucking gave me this bottle, and it's exquisitely beautiful. For those of you who can't read German, this is Blood Group, a Absinthe, not bad, huh? This is 60% absinthe. The brand is called Veron. I had a look on their website and they also have vodka and liquor and brandy, I think. And it's obviously, it's meant to look like blood and I think the bottle is meant to be sort of reminiscent of a blood drip. And Matthias can't wait to try this because he loves absinthe. Beautiful, dark, blood red absinthe. <sighs> Is that not sexy? That's pretty sexy, come on. Part of the festival is they always have this medieval village and if you watched my vlog a couple of weeks ago where I went to a medieval festival, I said that I wanted to buy like a viking drinking horn because I have viking ancestry. I've always kind of wanted a drinking horn but I've never really found one that I liked. And on my last night I went along to the medieval market part and I got one. Yay! I just got a small one. I've always, I was going to get like a big one but I thought no I'm just going to go for a small one and also I like this one because it's completely black. Not bad right? Like that's a real horn and it's completely black and also this little leather doodad for attaching it to your person. Honestly I'm probably gonna bring this with me to like Mariluna. Somehow I will make it work with my outfit. In the same chat that I got the horn I also bought this. Do you see that? That is a large broken crystal necklace. They were really cheap too. He had like, you know, nice cut crystals as well, but I, I really like these broken ones for some reason. They just really appealed to me. I've actually worn this like every day since the festival and hoping that somehow it's crystal magic will help cure my flu. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for joining me. What do you think was the best thing that I picked up this time? Because I'm I'm pretty fucking happy with this haul. I don't like the word haul. I'm happy with my haul, <laughs> with the stuff that I've picked up from Wave Gothy Treffin. 2017 and like I said probably later this week my Wave Gothic Treffin vlog will be up. I can't believe the festival is already over. It went by so quickly. If you have not already done so please hit the red button below and subscribe to my lovely spooky channel and as always take care of yourselves, be nice to each other and I'll see you next time. Bye!